Hey everyone, Todd from Sideshow Effects once again, and in this video I'm going to give you the whole installation process for our Ableton Live Pro Profiles for the Stream Deck XL device. Now this is a Windows only pack that we've got, and it's only for the XL device, not available for the NK device, and this of course is not going to work with the Stream Deck Plus. So I'm going to run through the whole installation process. I do encourage you to take a look at the PDF that is included in your pack. It will always have the most updated information, but certainly you can follow along here as a companion guide. Okay, so when you download the pack and unzip it, this is what you're going to see. First thing we need to do is we need to install, if you don't have one of our packs already, you probably don't have this program installed. It's called Loop MIDI. We provided the URL in our PDF. You would go to this website here and just click on download loop MIDI and yours once you download this will be blank of course I have a few ports in here already but the ports you would need to include for this pack is you go to the new port name you're gonna type in the port name first now the name you're going to use and the capitalization is important for this capital S stream capital D stream deck the number two capital D A W capital T track just written like that and then we hit the plus sign to add that port and then the next one would be capital D A W track capital T two capital S stream capital D dot track to stream deck we hit the plus and you'll see it's added at the bottom here Capitalization is important. You have to make sure you have it capitalized just the way we have it here. Once you have that loaded up, you just tuck this away. The next thing we need to do is we have a CSS Sideshow Effects folder here. We need to put this in a very particular place. So you will go into your C drive and you go into Program Data. Now, if you can't see program data, it's, it's, uh, it may, may be hidden for you. So the, uh, I'm, I'm on Windows 11 right now, so uh, I'll show you how quickly it is you can show hidden files. But on Windows 10, please look at the PDF. We'll detail exactly how you see a hidden folder if you can't find it. It's very simple. It's just selecting view and options and uh, selecting hidden files. But we show it to you in the PDF. Very easy to find there. On Windows 11, to make it a little easier, just go up to view, go to show, and make sure show hidden items. It's got a check mark beside it. And then we can go to program data, go into Ableton, our particular version, go into resources, and then we're going to go down to MIDI remote scripts. And this is where we need to drop. As you can see, I've already put it in here. You will take the CSS Sideshow Effects folder, drag the whole folder right into your MIDI remote scripts in that location. So once you have Ableton launched, you'll go to Options and Preferences. And we're going to go make sure we're in the MIDI tab here. And we'll go to the Control Surface here. And we want to make sure that, uh, if possible, it's best if we have it in slot 1 here. So we'll just scroll down to CSS Sideshow Effects, select that. Then we're going to select Stream Deck to DAW Track for the input. For the output, it will be DAW Track to Stream Deck. Once those get loaded in, make sure your Start Stop Sync is set to On. Now for the input of our Sideshow Effects, we're going to select all three for the track, the sync, and the remote. And for the output, we'll scroll down here. CSS Sideshow Effects Output, we're going to select all three for the output as well. Now we can close down the preferences. Now the next thing we're going to do is, you see this Ableton script folder, we're going to drag this to our Documents folder. So you just take this, drag it into Documents. You can see I already have it here, and I'll just show you what's inside. We have a couple of uh, script utilities. If you're using the light version, of Ableton, you would select the light utility and for the full version, the one with the blue icon, the live utility. I'll show you how we use that in just a sec, but let's just finish our installation here. 
we have one more folder that needs to go over into our documents folder. That's this Triv Liga spell. This provides all the graphics for our MIDI keys. So let's just go back out here to documents. You see that I already have a Triv Liga spell. Now, if you have a previous pack from Sideshow Effects that uses MIDI, you will have this Triv Liga spell already in there. In which case, you would only need to copy over this Ableton folder into your Trev Liga spell. If you don't have Trev Liga spell, then you would need to copy the entire Trev Liga spell folder. The graphics look for this particular folder. All right. So once again, if you already have Trev Liga spell, you you don't want to replace the one you have. You will just drop the Ableton inside there. If you don't have Trev Liga spell, you take the whole one and drop it into documents. Okay, we're gonna go back to the desktop here. We're gonna load the Stream Deck profile. So make sure that you have your Stream Deck software loaded up. And importantly as well, click on the gear icon. Make sure you're on version six or later. If you're on version five or anything earlier than, than six here, when you load the profile, it's just gonna appear blank. So make sure you're on at least software version six and we're going to go to the marketplace, go to plugins, and we're going to do a search for MIDI. And we're going to load up this plugin. I have it installed currently. If you don't have it installed already, you'll see a blue button. You'll click install and make sure that just loads up for you. Once that's loaded, close that down. Now with your software loaded, make sure that you've got your Excel device selected here. If you have more than one device like I do, you want to make sure it's the Excel that's live. Because we'll go to our download folder from Sideshow Effects into the Stream Deck profile and find the profile here. We're going to double click it to load it. And there it is. We've loaded up the profile. So here's the live utility and we're going to point it to where we put the utility scripts in our documents folder. So you would click on the ellipse here and you navigate to your documents folder and into the Ableton script and you would select whichever of these script utilities depending on the version of Ableton you're using. If you're using light, you use the live light utility. If you're using the full version, use the live utility. So you would select the appropriate file, say open, which I've already done, and that will point to the correct script. Now this does appear one other place and it's the exact same key. So if you want, you can go through the same process again, but the quickest thing may be to just copy this. And it also appears in this custom utility folder right here. And I would just say paste and therefore they are identical. Now with that, you're good to go. You can hop into Ableton and start using the pack right away. I encourage you to take a look at our navigation video and to look through the PDF that's included in the pack. It goes into great detail and breaks down all the individual workspaces in this pack and everything it offers. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time, we'll talk to you soon.